And joining us as always is Brian Weldon from the Sinus Dramus Law Firm. And tonight we're talking about a common dispute that neighbors have trees on or near the property line. And this stems from a viewer question that we received for Brian. And it reads in part If you have an apple tree that hangs and drops rotted apples on your yard, do you have a legal right to cut the branches off when the trunk is actually on the neighbor's property? So, what are the laws that apply in this situation, Brian? Well, Siobhan, every situation, when you get into specifics, it's always best to speak with a lawyer and get, get advice that's personalized to you because there's always a little back and forth question and answer. But there are some yeah. laws in effect that have been around for a long time in Michigan that do provide kind of general guidance in a situation like this. Okay, so Brian is not giving legal advice to any one person tonight, but in general, what happens when a branches are hanging over into your property? Can you cut them? Yeah, it, so in Michigan, uh, there's, there's old case law that suggests that, that the law is that you can cut branches as long as when they're overhanging on your property, mm -hmm. as long as you don't go past the property line or into your neighbor's property. Okay. Um, but it's a very, very risky thing to do because there's some negative consequences that can flow from that, Siobhan. Well, let's go into that. Ris I was thinking, risky? Why? It seems pretty cut and dry, but... Well, Michigan law makes it real clear that we value our trees here in Michigan. Mm -hmm. And as a result, if you do something, for example, if you trim a branch and it potentially leads to that tree dying, oh. the owner of the property can bring a civil claim against you and seek triple the value of the tree. Additionally, like I said, we take this seriously yeah. in Michigan. It's a crime to maliciously destroy a tree, and you can actually end up with prison time for killing a tree under this statute. So go into the specifics. You know, how serious, what are the penalties? Yeah, the penalties for, for kind of an inexpensive tree I'm just up to a year in jail. A more expensive tree, anything between $1,000 and $20,000, could be up to five years in jail or prison, and there's, there's actually fines associated with I'm it, too. I'm just not, I'm, like, I'm shocked. It's, I did not expect this. It's, it's surprising, and so like I said, it's risky, and, yeah. and you know, I guess the right advice as a general rule is try to work things out with your neighbor. Yeah. If not, there's cities, townships that actually have people on staff that sometimes can assign, can, can help work through disputes with, with fence lines and neighbors. Yeah. And then if all else fails, you may actually have to resort to hiring a lawyer. Okay. Brian, thank you very much for the information and as always for giving us the legal edge. Thank you.